You know, it's uh, sort of uh, two different thoughts. Um, you know, on the women's side, we were really happy with Caroline's run. Um, you know, I thought there were three or four girls that could win. Um, I think, you know, on race day, you're always rolling the dice a little bit um, on who ends up winning and who ends up third or fourth or whatever it is. And I, I just thought Caroline was outstanding. Um, I wish, uh, you know, she had one more counter move left in her um, over the last thousand meters. But, you know, considering last year she was in the mid 20s, um, two years ago, she didn't make the varsity for us. Um, I was really pleased with that effort. Um, you know, we were struggling a little bit on the women's side uh, from a team standpoint. Um, we, you know, we just ended up, our goal was top three. We just ended up, I think, 16 points shy. And uh, we've got one sick and we had a, an ankle issue this week. So I, I was really pleased with the performance as a whole. I just wish we could find a way to shave off about 16 more points and then I'd be super, super pleased. Um, with the men, there's not much more I could ask. I mean, we've got two sophomores in the lineup and all freshmen. Um, I thought the top three guys were outstanding. Um, uh, we got a huge race, a nice um, step in his development out of Paul Arredondo, and unfortunately he just ended up shy of all conference. And then uh, Matt Baumkamp, who's been sort of our seventh or eighth guy all year, stepping up for fifth, was I was very, very pleased with. And so we've got a little bit more depth coming out of this meet than I thought we had, um, and now we're looking forward to you know cracking the um, the code, if you will, at the NCAA regionals in two weeks. And uh, you know I like the group we're bringing there. So the first thing is just getting over um, the the emotion of the conference meet, kind of getting back into the grind of training we've got a little bit of a window here in training where we can affect regional performance um, but you know 97 percent of the work has been done we'll do a few pieces that allow us just to uh, uh, sharpen a, t a tad bit and uh, and certainly protect the fitness we've already gained um, so that's that's really the focus uh, you know the biggest thing is just kind of getting over the excitement and energy and commitment of a home meet back into training and maybe that's more for me than them but um, you know it's uh that, that's the focus. Well, it's interesting. It, you know, it means a uh, you know, much bigger commitment from a coaching staff standpoint um, to two or three days going into the meet. Um, but, you know, obviously from a student athlete standpoint, being able to sleep in your own beds and compete is an asset. Knowing the course front to back is an asset. Um, and uh, it's nice to be able to take the 10 to 15 minute ride home and not jump in a bus for four to eight hours like some of these teams are doing. So that part's exciting. Um, and of course, it's, it's much nicer for the kids to be able to run in front of their parents. Um, you know, it's, uh, uh, that part has certainly been very nice. Uh, I'm actually kind of shocked. I didn't expect to do as well as I did because I kind of had a rough season, but I came in with a positive mindset and I accomplished kind of what I wanted to do, so I'm excited. Oh yeah, we um, yeah we looked really good today. We had a little um, Aaron just kind of fill in a little, she's our uh, like number two, number three girl, but uh, yeah, it was a whole week. Yeah, she's my role model. She's such a beast. Every day she's training hard in practice and putting the effort. And I think we all look up to Caroline as someone to look up to. He was actually pretty pleased with our performance. Um, he told us coming in that we just needed to do our jobs and have positive mindset throughout the whole way because, yeah, this is the, how you get it done. So.